Let's learn 10 more advanced English words. In this video, we will pay special attention to syllable stress. This is video number eight. You have already learned 70 advanced English words, and let's keep going until we get to 100. The next 10 words are all adjectives that end in O-U-S. I want you to pay special attention how the O-U-S is pronounced. And especially if your native language is French or Spanish or Italian or Portuguese, the vowels of those words are similar in your native language, but they are pronounced very differently. For example, in French it's E-U-X, it's U, in Spanish and Portuguese and Italian it's also. In English that O becomes reduced and it becomes a. Uh. But even if your native language is not one of those languages, it's still really important to pay attention how syllables are stressed and how they are reduced. Let's get started. Number one, monotonous. Monotonous. There are four O's in that word, so we don't say monotonous. We stress the second syllable, monotonous, and that O-U-S at the end gets reduced. And Monotonous means always the same with no change. For example, someone can have a monotonous voice. It's boring to listen to because it doesn't go up and down. It's always pretty flat. Number two, tedious. Tedious. Tedious is similar to monotonous because it's something that's boring. But tedious usually is related to a job. If you have to repeat something over and over again, and it's very slow and it's very boring and you're not interested in it, that's a tedious job. Number three, hazardous. Hazardous means risky or very dangerous. Number four, infamous. Infamous. Be careful about that word. It's not infamous. We have the word famous, but this one we stress the first syllable, infamous. Infamous is when you're famous for something very bad, a criminal, can be infamous. Number five, anonymous. We stress the second syllable, anonymous. If someone is anonymous, they don't want to give their real name. They don't want you to know who they are. So sometimes maybe you will receive an anonymous letter or an anonymous comment. We don't know who the person is. Number six, vigorous. Vigorous means very strong and very energetic, full of energy and Vigorous people have a lot of strength, and sometimes you can do vigorous exercise, which is challenging, difficult exercise. Number seven, tremendous. Tremendous means very large, very impressive, excellent, but it can also mean when there is a lot of something. Tremendous. Number eight, studious. A studious person loves to study. They're always studying and they're reading books. Number nine, ambiguous. Ambiguous. Ambiguous means not clear. Or maybe there are two ways to look at something so you don't know which one is correct. There are different ways to understand something that's ambiguous. And number 10, oblivious. Oblivious. An oblivious person is not aware of what's going on around them. They have no awareness. They're ignorant of their surroundings. Maybe they don't pay attention or they don't care. And now let's use these words in sentences and pay attention to which syllables I stress and which ones I reduce and of course which words I stress and which ones I reduce and of course connecting words together is really important too. Number one, the teacher's monotonous lecture almost put me to sleep. Make sure you reduce the O-U-S of monotonous. Almost put me, hold both of those T's. And there are two thought groups. The teacher's monotonous lecture almost put me to sleep. Number two, I need to find a new job because my current one is so tedious. And here there are two thought groups. And let's connect find a, and let's connect current one is so tedious. One is so. And let's hold a T of current. I need to find a new job because my current one is so tedious. Number three, smoking is hazardous to your health. 
Let's connect the G and the I. Smoking is. Smoking is hazardous to your health. Number four. The infamous war criminal was finally arrested. We're going to say the infamous because infamous begins with a vowel. And war criminal is a compound noun, so we stress the first word, war criminal. The infamous war criminal was finally arrested. Number five. I wonder why that writer prefers to remain anonymous. Two thought groups again, and we're going to hold a T of that, that writer, and let's connect remain and anonymous. Remain anonymous. I wonder why that writer prefers to remain anonymous. Number six. The doctor warned against doing any vigorous activities. Let's connect warned against. Let's hold a T of against. The doctor warned against doing. And then let's connect the S to the A. Vigorous activities. The doctor warned against doing any vigorous activities. Number seven. You've made tremendous progress in your English. Let's connect your and English. Your English. And once again, tremendous. The second syllable is stressed, but the O-U-S is reduced. Tremendous. You've made tremendous progress in your English. Number eight. John likes to play sports, but his brother is very studious. Let's connect but his. That H is going to be eliminated, so now the T is between two vowels, and it sounds like this, but is. And brother is, let's link that together, brother is. John likes to play sports, but his brother is very studious. Number nine, that poem is intentionally ambiguous. Let's connect poem is intentionally and let's hold the T of that and make sure you pronounce ambiguous correctly. That's a difficult word to pronounce, ambiguous. That poem is intentionally ambiguous. And number 10, he was so focused on his work that he was oblivious to his surroundings. In this sentence, we have a lot of linking and we have three different pronouns, his, he, and his, again, all of those H's will be eliminated and they will be linked to the previous word. So first we link was so, we have two S's, we only pronounce them as one, he was so and then focused on becomes focused on and on his becomes on his. So let's do that first part. He was so focused on his work and then we're not gonna say that he, we're gonna say daddy because the T now is between two vowels when the H is eliminated. Was oblivious, let's connect the S to the O and to his surroundings. Let's connect the two S's, his surroundings, and let's eliminate the H, to his surroundings. That's a hard one. All right, now let's do the sentence again. He was so focused on his work that he was oblivious to his surroundings. And this time, your homework is to find other new words that end in O-U-S. There are so many of them in English.